Hello ladies and chaps and a jolly good welcome to you. I am Baron Curtier. Thank you very, very much for joining me for this live comments recording and I am once again in cold waters. It's been bloody months since I last played this game um, or done a recording of this game. Um, I have been playing it here and there. Now I am aboard HMS Trafalgar here. Thanks to the new playable subs and more mods, I am able to play as Royal Navy Submarines as I have done in um, various other videos. I was hoping to do a video using the uh, Upholder class but for some reason the model isn't isn't good. The model of the Upholder class isn't perfect um, and it, it keeps reverting back to its original model which is a Soviet design of some kind. The modders do have to use existing models or submarines in the game and try and reshape them and for the, the Upholder class it doesn't appear to work 100% accurately. But here we are and my first mission is to destroy enemy submarines trying to launch commandos at the Spratly Islands. They're trying to land commandos on the Spratlys um, and I'm here to stop them. Um, so we are here up in the United States fight back against the Chinese aggressors. Um, the United Kingdom has failed to hand over Hong Kong back to China after our 100 year lease expired and now it's kind of a uh, we are de facto at war with China. Now Sierra 1 was on the scope until a few moments ago so let's see if we can get them back again and we are yeah, we are running silently which is nice. So this is HMS Trafalgar, Trafalgar class um, Royal Navy a nuclear submarine, uh, the first of the class obviously, launched in uh, July 1981, commissioned in 83. Um, it has since been decommissioned, 2009, replaced by the Astute. Um, the Astute class submarines coming into service now. There are still uh, uh, three of these submarines in, in service with the Royal Navy, so they're not completely out of service yet, but this one is. HMS Trafalgar is no longer in service. Obviously named after the Battle of Trafalgar, um, the huge battle between the Royal Navy and the French and Spanish fleets during the Napoleonic Wars, um, a victory for the Royal Navy over the more numerous um, coalition fleet there, the French and Franco-Spanish fleet. Um, obviously it's the battle in which his Lordship Admiral Nelson was killed um, and became a hero to all Brits and all that bollocks. So anyway, enough of that shite. Let's crack on with the mission. Let's see if we can find out what Sierra 1 is. Um, she is up ahead of us, almost directly ahead of us in fact. Um, we are literally right on top of the Spratlys here. We are right next to the, we are at the Spratlys. Um, we may have missed our our mission purely because of how much time it took me to um, correctly arm the, the submarine with spearfish and so on. Difficult to tell actually. I may have to go to periscope depth and have a look. Okay, so while I was looking through the periscope, expecting to find some kind of um, trawler, a Romeo appeared um, right there. Um, so we've put the scope down. We're gonna get some some depth. It's going down to 100. Um, that was lucky, wasn't it? She's currently at about I don't know, 90 feet, something like that. And I expect it would be a Romeo that we're expecting to find here dropping these commandos. And I only know that purely because of doing these missions in the past on this game, it's normally a an old diesel electric of some kind. Now the Romeo. What do we know about the Romeo? There she is. So, only capable of 13 knots. Uh, she is quiet, being diesel electric. Um, but she's old, I do believe. I, I can't be sure the Romeo is quite an old quite an old boat. And this is this is the 21st century we're in now. This Trafalgar class very very high tech and very very quiet um, not really a match at all to be quite frank so um, well we, we have our spearfish here so we'll, we'll see her off at least um, and there is Sierra 2 just further north and we'll head, head, off, head off after her next but for now this Romeo has got to go I'm afraid And it's not going to need any fancy shooting of any kind. Um, no fancy torpedo tactics or anything. Although we did lose the wire instantly. Which is always fun. Okay, the enemy has returned fire. They have fired two torpedoes back at me. I can see I can see the, uh, the wash of the torpedoes there. So what we're going to do, we're going to dive down nice and deep.
I think she's fired three torpedoes now, in fact. Now I'm going to let that, that torpedo run its course. Although the Romeo is turning away. So I may have to fire another one. In fact, I'm, I am going to fire another one. And this time we've kept the wire, which is nice. So we're going back to uh, silent running. Um, hopefully these three torpedoes here will pass right over my head. Now I've fired off that second torpedo. May have done it a bit prematurely. Because that torpedo is still heading pretty much towards the enemy there. Now I'm going to make this one go active. And I can now control it. Oh! Hey, there's more torpedoes coming at me. Sierra 2 is, in fact, a little bit closer to me than I originally thought. So, uh, what the hell is going on? This torpedo is being fired all over the place. So let's get our torpedo going in the general direction of Sierra 2. We don't have a very good read, a uh, very good bear, um, solution on her. And again, we've lost the wire. That's really annoying. Uh, fire control, weapon, nope, no, 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 no. Back you go. Uh, so both of these torpedoes here have locked onto the Romeo. So I'm going to bring this, this one around and get it going after Sierra 2 because that torpedo probably will finish the job. I suspect. There's just torpedoes everywhere. I can't. I can't really figure out what the hell's going on. That one is searching. I'm out to go deeper still. Down to 600. And my original torpedo appears to have um, gone astray. Oh no! It has, in fact, not gone astray. It has found the enemy and destroyed her. Sierra 2 still popping off torpedoes left, right, and center. Let's see if I can find out what Sierra 2 might be. Song. Possibly a song. Very quiet. I've not bloody seen it really sharp very much. I'm not getting a very good solution on it. So that might be that might be a thing there. Um, capable of 22 knots. Diesel electric. Um, quite possibly a song. I, I don't know. No, it's a kilo, which is also a diesel electric, and there she is, she's right there. And our torpedo is, is homing in, I think. Here it is. Let the torpedo do its own thing. Really good. Hopefully that's it. The two two enemy two enemy submarines, um, both trying to drop commandos. Now I've got to do is get away from these torpedoes, and it'll be mission accomplished. Right, that little bugger there has has detected us somehow. So we're gonna we're gonna come up a little bit. Uh, four zero zero, I think. Four zero zero. And let's get let's get our skates on. Let's get some let's get some speed going. Released. Torpedo has turned away. And I'll see Trafalgar is quite a maneuverable boat actually. I'm, 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 yeah, I'm quite impressed at how she handles quite well. That torpedo is still coming there. So let's dive. Dive, 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 dive. I'm actually going to dive right into the path of it. Like an absolute pro here. Turning towards the torpedo um, as well as I go down. 
look at that. Just brushed, uh, just, just brushed over the tail, over the propeller. Oh, bloody lucky. What is the depth? What is the maximum floor up there, right? It's quite, quite deep. Let's keep going down, keep going down for now until I start to get warnings. I can't remember what the test depth is, the test depth is of the Trafalgar, um, but I like to think it's quite deep. That torpedo is still coming at me. Alright, let's get get some speed on, let's get to 30 knots. Oh gosh. Oh, I'm actually going to end up running the torpedo if I'm not careful. There we go. Alright, we dodged that. Jolly good. Right, we're below a thousand feet now. I think we've, uh, have we gotten rid of it? Is the torpedo gone? Yep, the torpedo's buggering off the other way, gone back into a search pattern, and it's, it's gone now, so, uh, marvellous. Jolly, good, splendid stuff. Well done, chaps, well done. Right, let's not mess around any longer. Let's, um, let's have at them with the torpedoes now, because it's only a matter of time before I get detected. So, um, Sierra 3, your first one to go. And now let's fire off my torpedoes in the general direction of the enemy now. Oh, we lost the war on that one. Now, this is not an easy mission for a diesel electric. It the Collins class only has 20 knots top speed. That's a big ship as well. Not big enough though. Not big enough. 